Hi everyone. This video is going to explore list comprehensions. So list comprehensions are something that's really pretty unique to Python, and it's also one of the elements of Python that people who have to program in some other language after using Python for a while say they miss the most. So a list comprehension is basically a compact way of writing for loops. So um, if we wanted to multiply uh, or square several numbers, we might um, have a list with some numbers in it. Three, four, five, six. And we could write a regular for loop where we say for i in l. Um, we're going to output a new list, so we'll say all usual uh, append i squared. And we have to have our output initialized to something. print output. Okay, that's something we've done a bunch of times before. A Python list comprehension and um, things that are written in a very Python way are usually called Pythonic. This is a very Pythonic way to write the equivalent of what we just had. So all a list comprehension does is um, allow you to write a for loop and the conditionals and other things all in one line and without having to have this extra bookkeeping of creating the output list and appending. So all we do is we have square brackets because the output is going to be a list and we say i squared for i in l. Just print that directly. All right, and then we get the two lists. So one of the big advantages of Python, one of the things that they really strive for, is that things are easy to read and short. So instead of having to say output equals empty list for i and l output append i squared. We can just say i squared for i and l. It's much easier to understand, much easier to um, think about when something's short and sweet like that. Let's look at another example. Let's say we want to print out all the um, even numbers in some range. Then we can do our list comprehension and just say i for i in range. Um, Let's go up to 20 if i mod 2 equals 0. All right, so we're just saying we're going to print, we're going to create a list containing all the i's for i's in the range 0 to 20 if i is even. Remember, if i mod 2 is equal to 0. So we can just give that a name. And print it. There we go. All the even numbers between 0 up to 20. We can create um, tuples inside of our list. So for example, with a list comprehension, we can say i and j for i in range um, 10 for j in range five 
let's see what that does. And that gives us all the pairs, 0 through 10, and then combined with uh, 0 through 5 over and over. Right? So we have 0, 0, 0, up through 5, 1, up through 5, 2, up through 5, up to 9, up through 5. All right. Let's look at a slightly more useful example. Let's say we want to find um, all the common elements um, between two lists. So here's list one. Uh, let's make up some numbers. And of course, in all these examples, they're simple, but you can imagine this being applied to millions of numbers that you want to compare. two lists. If we want to find the list of common elements, then all we have to say, and again it's very it's very readable, A for A in L1 B in list two if A equals B. Let's print that. All right, so it tells us that two, five, nine, and twenty are in both lists. Let's see. 2, 5, 9, and 20. And it even tells us that 5 is in this list at least twice. Let's look at one more example. And again, really the advantage of, um, of this Pythonic list comprehension is that it, it's more readable. Um, there are discussions that you'll find online about um, it maybe being faster than a for loop or faster than using a map and um, functional programming style, but they usually depend on the details. So sometimes map is faster, sometimes the for loop is faster, sometimes the list comprehension is faster, just depending on exactly what it is you're doing. So really it's a stylistic choice. Um, People who have seen set builder notation before in a, a math class um, often compare that kind of notation where you have something like um, uh, x is the set such that x is greater than 2, for example. That looks a lot like um, the Pythonic list comprehension um, x for x uh, in some range whatever that might be, if x greater than 2. So for some people, it's a much clearer way of writing for loops. All right. Let's do another example. Um, let's say we have a list of strings. some semi-random uh, strings in them. Let's say we want to know uh, the lengths of each of these strings and put that into a new list. Well, 
in list comprehension, we would just create a new list with open close brackets, and we'd say i for i in Ulster. Right, it tells us that there are six characters in the first let in the first word, six in the second, four in the third, and ten in the last one. All right, um, I'm going to stop there with list comprehensions. As I said, it's one of the most popular features of Python. Um, people really feel they, that it's much clearer than for loops. All right, I'm going to end this video there, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.